सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट दिस इज चैप्टर सिक्स स्क्वेयर्स एंड स्क्वेयर रूट्स फ्रॉम पेज नंबर एटी नाइन टू पेज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर सिक्स स्क्वेयर्स एंड स्क्वेयर रूट्स सिक्स पॉइंट वन introduction you know that the area of a square is equal to side into side where side means the length of a side study the following table here we have a table with two columns column 1 has side of a square in centimeter column 2 has area of the square in centimeter square 1 One into one is equal to one is equal to one square. Two. Two into two is equal to four is equal to two square. Three. Three into three is equal to nine is equal to three square. Five. Five into five is equal to twenty-five is equal to five square. Eight. Eight into eight is equal to sixty-four. Is equal to eight square. A, A into A is equal to A square. What is special about the numbers four, nine, twenty-five, sixty-four, and other such numbers? Since four can be expressed as two into two is equal to two square, nine can be expressed. As three into three is equal to three square, all such numbers can be expressed as the product of the number with itself. Such numbers like one four nine sixteen twenty five and so on are known as square numbers. In general, if a natural number can be expressed as n square, where n is also a natural number, then m is a square number. Is thirty-two a square number? We know that five square is equal to twenty-five, and six square is equal to thirty-six. If thirty-two is a square number, it must be the square of a natural number between five and six. But there is no natural number between five and six. Therefore, thirty-two is not a square number. Consider the following numbers and their squares. Here. We have a table. Column one has number. Column two has square. One, one into one is equal to one. Two, two into two is equal to four. Three, three into three is equal to nine. Four, four into four is equal to sixteen. Five, five into five is equal to twenty-five. Six, blank. Seven, blank. Eight, blank. Nine, blank. Ten, blank. Can you complete it? Page number ninety. From the above table, can we enlist the square numbers between one and hundred? Are there any natural square numbers up to hundred left out? You will find. that the rest of the numbers are not square numbers the numbers 1 4 9 16 – dash are square numbers these numbers are also called perfect squares try these 1 find the perfect square numbers between 1 30 and 40 2 50 and 60 6.2 properties of square numbers following table shows the squares of numbers from 1 to 20 on the left side we have number in the right side we have square 1 1 2 4 3 9 4 16 5 25 6 36 7 8 64 9 81 82 83 84 85 
ten hundred eleven one twenty one twelve one forty four thirteen one sixty nine fourteen one ninety six fifteen two twenty five sixteen two fifty six seventeen two eighty nine eighteen three twenty four nineteen three sixty one twenty four hundred Study the square numbers in the above table. What are the ending digits? That is, digits in the units place of the square numbers. All these numbers end with zero, one, four, five, six, or nine at units place. None of these end with two, three, seven, or eight at units place. Can we say that if a number ends in zero, one, four? Five, six, or nine, then it must be a square number. Think about it. Try these. One. Can we say whether the following numbers are perfect squares? How do we know? One, thousand fifty-seven. Two, twenty-three thousand four fifty-three. Three, seven thousand nine twenty-eight. Four, two lakh twenty-two thousand two twenty-two. Five thousand sixty-nine, six two thousand sixty-one. Page number ninety-one. Write five numbers which you can decide by looking at the units digit that they are not square numbers. Two. Write five numbers which you cannot decide just by looking at their units digit or units place whether they are square numbers or not. Study the following table of some numbers and their squares, and observe the ones place in both. Table one. On the left side we have number. In the right side we have square. One, one, two, four, three, nine, four, sixteen, five, twenty-five, six, thirty-six, seven, forty-nine, eight. Sixty-four, nine, eighty-one, ten, hundred, eleven, one twenty-one, twelve, one forty-four, thirteen, one sixty-nine, fourteen, one ninety-six, fifteen, two twenty-five, sixteen, two fifty-six, seventeen, two eighty-nine, eighteen, three twenty-four, nineteen, three sixty-one, twenty, four hundred. Twenty-one, four forty-one, twenty-two, four eighty-four, twenty-three, five twenty-nine, twenty-four, five seventy-six, twenty-five, six twenty-five, thirty, nine hundred, thirty-five, twelve hundred, twenty-five, forty, sixteen hundred, forty-five, two thousand twenty-five, fifty, twenty-five hundred. The following square numbers end. With digit one. On the left side we have square. On the right side we have number. One, one, eighty-one, nine, one twenty-one, eleven, three sixty-one, nineteen, four forty-one, twenty-one. Try these. Which of one twenty-three square, seventy-seven square, eighty-two square, one sixty-one square? Hundred and nine square would end with digit one. Write the next two square numbers which end in one and their corresponding numbers. You will observe that if a number has one or nine in the units place, then its square ends in one. Let us consider square numbers ending in six. On the left side we have square. On the right side we have number sixteen. Four, thirty-six, six, one ninety-six, fourteen, two fifty-six, sixteen. Try these. Which of the following numbers would have digit six at unit place? One, nineteen square. Two, twenty-four square. Three, twenty-six square. Four, thirty-six square. Five, thirty-four square. Page number ninety-two. We can observe that when a square number 
ends in 6, the number whose square it is will have either 4 or 6 in units place. Can you find more such rules by observing the numbers and their squares in table 1? Try these. What will be the 1's digit in the square of the following numbers? 1. 1234 2. 26387 3. 52698 4. 99880 5. 21222 6. 9106 Consider the following numbers and their squares. 10 square is equal to 100. 20 square is equal to 400. 80 square is equal to 6400. We have 1 zero in the number we are squaring. But we have 2 zeros in the square. 100 square is equal to 10,000. 200 square is equal to 40,000. 700 square is equal to 4 lakh 90,000. 900 square is equal to 8 lakh 10,000. We have two zeros in the number we are squaring, but four zeros in the square of that number. If a number contains three zeros at the end, how many zeros will its square have? What do you notice about the number of zeros at the end of the number and the number of zeros at the end of its square? Can we say that square numbers can only have even number of zeros at the end? Observe table 1 with numbers and their squares. What can you say about the squares of even numbers and squares of odd numbers? Try these. 1. The square of which of the following numbers would be an odd number or an even number? Why? 1. 727 2. 158 3. 269 4. 1980 2. What will be the number of zeros in the square of the following numbers? 1. 60 2. 400 6.3 Some more interesting patterns 1. Adding triangular numbers Do you remember triangular numbers? Numbers whose dot patterns can be arranged as triangles. 1. Here we have one flower. 3. Here we have three flowers. 2 in first column, 1 in second column. 6. Here we have six flowers. 3 in first column, 2 in second column, 1 in last column. 10. Here we have ten flowers. 4 in first column, 3 in second column, 2 in third column, 1 in last column. 15. Here we have 15 flowers, 5 in first column, 4 in second column, 3 in third column, 2 in fourth column, 1 in last column. Page number 93 If we combine two consecutive triangular numbers, we get a square number like 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 is equal to 2 square. Here, we have put two flowers in first column and one flower in the second column inside a stair-like shape. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9 is equal to 3 square. Here we have put three flowers in first column, two flowers in second column and one flower in third column inside a stair-like shape. 6 plus 10 is equal to 16 is equal to 4 square. Here we have put 4 flowers in first column, 3 flowers in second column, 2 flowers in third column and 1 flower in the last column inside a stair-like shape. 2. Numbers between square numbers. Let us now observe if we can find some interesting pattern between two consecutive square numbers. 1 is equal to 1 square within brackets. 2 comma 3 underlined comma 4 is equal to 2 square within brackets. From 2 and 3 we can observe that 
two non-square numbers between the two square numbers, 1 is equal to 1 square and 4 is equal to 2 square. 5, 6, 7, 8, comma, 9 is equal to 3 square within brackets. 5, 6, 7, 8 have been underlined. Here, 4 non-square numbers between the 2 square numbers, 4 is equal to 2 square and 9 is equal to 3 square. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 is equal to within brackets 4 square. All numbers except 16 have been underlined. 6 non-square numbers between the 2 square numbers, 9 is equal to 3 square and 16 is equal to 4 square. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 is equal to 5 square. All numbers except 25 have been underlined. 8 non-square numbers between the 2 square numbers, 16 is equal to 4 square and 25 is equal to 5 square. Between 1 square is equal to 1 and 2 square is equal to 4, there are 2, that is, 2 into 1, non-square numbers, 2 comma 3. Between 2 square is equal to 4 and 3 square is equal to 9, there are 4, that is, 2 into 2, non-square numbers, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, 3 square is equal to 9, 4 square is equal to 16. Therefore, 4 square minus 3 square is equal to 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. Between 9 is equal to 3 square and 16 is equal to 4 square, the numbers are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That is, 6 non-square numbers, which is 1 less than the difference of 2 squares. We have 4 square is equal to 16 and 5 square is equal to 25. Therefore, 5 square minus 4 square is equal to 9. Between 16 is equal to 4 square and 25 is equal to 5 square, the numbers are 17, 18, dash, 24, that is 8 non-square numbers, which is 1 less than the difference of 2 squares. Consider 7 square and 6 square. Can you say how many numbers are there between 6 square and 7 square? If we think of any natural number n and n plus 1, then n plus 1 within bracket square minus n square is equal to bracket open n square plus 2n plus 1 bracket close minus n square is equal to 2n plus 1. We find that between n square and n plus 1 within bracket square, there are 2n numbers which is 1 less than the difference of 2 squares. Thus, in general we can say that there are 2n non-perfect square numbers between the squares of the numbers n and n plus 1. Check for n is equal to 5, n is equal to 6 etc. and verify. Page number 94. Try these. 1. How many natural numbers lie between 9 square and 10 square? Between 11 square and 12 square. 2. How many non-square numbers lie between the following pairs of numbers? 1. 100 square and 101 square. 2. 90 square and 91 square. 3. 1000 square and 1001 square. 3. Adding odd numbers. Consider the following. 1. One odd number is equal to 1 is equal to 1 square. 1 plus 3, sum of first two odd numbers, is equal to 4 is equal to 2 square. 1 plus 3 plus 5, sum of first three odd numbers, is equal to 9 is equal to 3 square. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 dash is equal to 16 is equal to 4 square. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 dash is equal to 25 is equal to 5 square. 
1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 dash is equal to 36 is equal to 6 square. So we can say that the sum of first n odd natural numbers is n square. Looking at it in a different way, we can say if the number is a square, it has to be the sum of successive odd numbers starting from 1. Consider those numbers which are not perfect squares, say 2, 3, 5, 6. Can you express these numbers as a sum of successive odd natural numbers beginning from 1? You will find that these numbers cannot be expressed in this form. Consider the number 25. Successively, subtract 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 from it. 1. 25 minus 1 is equal to 24. 2. 24 minus 3 is equal to 21. 3. 21 minus 5 is equal to 16. 4. 16 minus 7 is equal to 9. 5. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. This means 25 is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. Also, 25 is a perfect square. Now consider another number, 38, and again do as above. 1. 38 minus 1 is equal to 37. 2. 37 minus 3 is equal to 34. 3. 34 minus 5 is equal to 29. 4. 29 minus 7 is equal to 22. 5. 22 minus 9 is equal to 13. 6. 13 minus 11 is equal to 2. 7. 2 minus 13 is equal to minus 1. This shows that we are not able to express 38 as the sum of consecutive odd numbers starting with 1. Also, 38 is not a perfect square. So we can also say that if a natural number cannot be expressed as a sum of successive odd natural numbers starting with 1, then it is not a perfect square. We can use this result to find whether a number is a perfect square or not. Try these. Find whether each of the following numbers is a perfect square or not. 1. 121, 2, 55, 3, 81, 4, 49, 5, 69. 4. A sum of consecutive natural numbers. Consider the following. 3 square is equal to 9 is equal to 4 plus 5. Second number is equal to 3 square plus 1 divided by 2. First number is equal to 3 square minus 1 divided by 2. 5 square is equal to 25 is equal to 12 plus 13. 7 square is equal to 49 is equal to 24 plus 25. Page number 95. 9 square is equal to 81 is equal to 40 plus 41. 11 square is equal to 121 is equal to 60 plus 61. 15 square is equal to 225 is equal to 112 plus 113. Wow! We can express the square of any odd number as the sum of two consecutive positive integers. Try these. 1. Express the following as the sum of two consecutive integers. 1. 21 square 2. 13 square 3. 11 square 4. 19 square 2. Do you think the reverse is also true, that is, is the sum of any two consecutive positive integers is perfect square of a number? Give example to support your answer. 5. Product of two consecutive even or odd natural numbers. 11 into 13 is equal to 143 is equal to 12 square minus 1. Also, 11 into 13 is equal to 12 minus 1 within brackets into 12 plus 1 within brackets. Therefore, 11 into 13 is equal to 12 minus 1 within brackets into 12 plus 1 within brackets 
is equal to 12 square minus 1. Similarly, 13 into 15 is equal to 14 minus 1 within brackets multiplied by 14 plus 1 within brackets is equal to 14 square minus 1. 29 into 31 is equal to 30 minus 1 within brackets into 30 plus 1 within brackets is equal to 30 square minus 1. 44 into 46 is equal to 45 minus 1 within brackets into 45 plus 1 within brackets is equal to 45 square minus 1. So in general we can say that a plus 1 within brackets into a minus 1 within brackets is equal to a square minus 1. 6. Some more patterns in square numbers. Observe the squares of numbers 1, 11, 111, etc. They give a beautiful pattern. 1 square is equal to 1. 11 square is equal to 1, 2, 1. 111 square is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. 1111 square is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. 11,111 square is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1 crore, 11 lakh, 11,000, 111 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Another interesting pattern. 7 square is equal to 4, 9. 67 square is equal to 4, 4, 8, 9. 6, 6, 7 square is equal to 4, 4, 4, 8, 8, 9. 6, 6, 6, 7 square is equal to 4, 4, 4, 4, 8, 8, 8, 9. 6, 6, 6, 6, 7 square is equal to 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 8, 8, 8, 8, 9, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 7 square is equal to 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 9. Try these. Write the square making use of the above pattern. 1. 1 lakh 11,111 square. 2. 11 lakh 11,000 111 square. Try these. Can you find the square of the following numbers using the above pattern? 1. 66 lakh 66,667 square. 2. 6 crore 66 lakh 66,667 square. The fun is being able to find out why this happens. Maybe it would be interesting for you to explore and think about such questions even if the answers come some years later.